holy crap folks, I'm at Pleasant Prairie Supercharger and this is the official first Model 3 I have seen in person. Holy crap folks, it's red and it is beautiful and it is brand new with dealer plates or uh, registration. This is number 995. Holy crap, that is awesome. There's the charge port. Uh, okay. Yeah, Illinois temporary plate. So this one is pretty much brand new to its owner. Whew. Wow. Something I never knew. On the rear, unlike the Model S and X, there's only a single caliper on the rear. There's no dual caliper, one for parking and one for uh, uh, regular use. Brand spanking new. There's like nothing in it either. Same with the front. Those calipers look pretty snazzy though. Man, this is awesome. All right, finally get a better look at the, uh, the, the door handles. I don't want to touch because it's not my car, but we got the autopilot camera set up just like just like the, the Autopilot 2.0 on the Model S. Wow. Let's see if there's a battery tag like on the Model S or next. flat bottom. A little smooth sticker for uh, the T. Interesting fins on the side force air around and by the wheel area. See that there? Really awesome. I wish the ground wasn't soaking wet, otherwise I'd be peeking underneath it more. Coil suspension. Charge port. It's kind of nice. It helps keep slush, snow, and rain off the charge port. Actually, no, it doesn't. We go back onto the car and then run right down into there. Hmm. So simple. Snap some more pictures. Car number 995. Interesting way of draping the, uh, and very poor way of draping the uh, washer fluid tube. It's pretty good looking. Hopefully I can stick around long enough for the owner to come back. The uh, autopilot cameras, the defrosters are different than than on uh, the Model S. If you look at, if you can see it, the defroster lines, there's a whole heck of a lot more of them. And there's a regular rain sensor on it, awesome. Uh, there's more defroster lines on Autopilot 2.0 on uh, the Model 3 than there were on the uh, Model S. I'm not sure what to really look at on this thing. If you look right there...
almost looks like there could be a second charge point charge port on this side if not now maybe eventually which would be awesome i've been asking for that from tesla for a while charge point port on each side because not all charging stations are created equal but wow that is gorgeous that is a gorgeous looking car Facing cameras. Well, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna stick around, see if, uh, if and when the owner comes back, and if I can get some, uh, some pictures. And uh, Model Threes don't get free supercharging. They have to pay for everything, either by the minute or by the kilowatt hour, depending on what state they're and city they're charging in. So uh, I can't imagine they're going to stay longer than they need to. And given that it's a temp plate on the back, this is not a Tesla owned car. This one actually is owned by a customer. Look at the defrost lines on the back here. They go... I think that's quite a bit more effective than just going across. Although if one gets damaged, you lose more of the grid than you would otherwise. Beautiful. Man, this is a gorgeous looking car. I'm still a little hesitant not having a dash screen, but in general, this is one beautiful looking car. Okay, so this, oh, that is awesome. Look at that little T right there. Oh, Man. missed it. No, I, 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 I oh, that, that was beautiful. So, uh, you know, with, with this, it's your phone is a key. Right. Well, there's a, there's a key card, too. So, we're going to push. Oh, that is so cool. Push and pull. And then the, the window goes down. That is cool. Yeah. It's really nice. This has got the premium package, of course, on it. It smells brand new, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's got like 50 miles. So, so, we wanted to so you said you picked it up expensive. yesterday. We asked you yeah. what you paid for it now, because no one knows price on this. So on this, it's it's got the premium, it's got the 19s, uh, it's got the you know of course the red paint uh, <laughs> with. <laughs> it's all right, man. No, no, so you want to see the panel? Because I want to make yeah. sure. It seems like this one's all because that one's what uh, aluminum and these are like steel or something. Steel and aluminum, yeah. Yeah, these are more. It's of still a mix. feels solid though. Oh yeah, yeah. It but dries they, dries really nice. Really nice. Since, yeah, since she's up. Yeah. So with Destiny, it's like 57. All right. Because we're still like, I'm just like, should I get the S or the 3? And I'm like, no. And then what's the charging situation for the supercharger? I'll find out. Nice. I, you, you do have to pay for everything. Yeah. There's nothing included yeah. on these. That's, that's what it's supposed to be. But if you work it out, it's actually, I found it in least in Wisconsin, it's cheaper than, than charging at home. In Wisconsin, the first 60 is probably 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Yeah. Uh, so Otherwise, regular retail is 13 yeah, yeah. here. So with the taxes and everything else, it's about the same as I pay at home. Yeah. Which is still not bad. Oh, yeah. Beautiful do, car. Do they have signature red or do they have signature? No. no. That's one thing they didn't it's do is there's no founders and no signature. No. So they're the, uh, it's available the same colors as the SNEX with the exception of metallic black. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the other colors. So the key is though on this, because I obviously saw these things too, mm -hmm. is that uh, the red and the white on an X or an S, it's a $1,500 premium. Right. Unless it's a thousand bucks. So okay, a little so smaller, a little less smaller paint. car. Yeah. Yeah. It actually looks good in this red. The Model S, I don't like it in this red, but Model 3 looks nice in this color. It's a real pretty car. And does it have the panoramic? <laughs> yeah, this one's got the roof. Okay. It's, this is the all glass. They're, they're, the all -glass. they're not doing the, the panel, the panels yet. That's like mid next summer. Cool. The 19 though, uh, no rough ride on it. It's not like a 21, right. uh, but they do handle really well. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm fortunate enough to get it. So how did they tell you? Like, did they have a big unveiling for you guys, or they just shipped the yeah, car? Yeah, actually, I'll, oh, oh, okay. So that uh, is spacious. And then, of course, it's got the. So we kept a lot of Mars. You, you got the necessities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. The UMC is the same as the Model S. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We'll just see how big it is. Oh, okay. It goes back. Yeah, it goes this. And then I think too. the back seats fold down. Is that correct? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you glad you got it? Or you oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is my third electric car. Nice. So, 
first two were commuters. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a Nissan Leaf, and I actually traded in a Volkswagen E-Golf. Uh -huh. E-Golf wasn't bad. It's about 120 miles of range. But this thing gets well over 300. Yeah. So, wow. No, no, like, my ass doesn't get over 250, so. Is that because it's more efficient driving and the battery is the same now, size? Now, the Model 3 uses a permanent yeah, magnet electric motor. Now, permanent magnet okay. at lower power requirements is more efficient than the three-phase AC. However, the massive requirements that these things put out, yeah. the three-phase ends up being more more efficient. You guys have yeah. a great afternoon. Okay. Pleasure. Hey. Enjoy. Hey, thank you. Thank you, for yeah, thank you as well. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank <laughs> you.